Where do you want me to put this? Things that they had to introduce. Oh, God. All right, well, I think I could still make it. I was going to throw my controller. But I didn't. Oh, I meant to do that. Because <laughs> he's right here the whole time, obviously. I knew that. I knew that that wasn't the guy I was supposed to talk to. That's why they give you two minutes. Um, in case you're a fucking moron and you don't pay attention like I do. I've got time. I'm not worried about shit. Yep. That was actually calculated. Um, you know, if you think about it, with the wind resistance um, and the uh, the uh, the facing of the moon, it was actually faster to do it that way. We're gonna do them one at a time. Each cutscene is gonna have a different outfit. Um, what Rockarock needs is new Halfins. Help, help hands. Okay, I read that like Halfins. I'm like, what the fuck's a Halfind? Help hands uh, to create good living for Potsworn. That's right. So. Is it like the pottery artisans or something? They're leaving because um, some reason, right? Um, Kahi? <sighs> okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So me and Wook are going to save the world. All right, so let's go see what they need. You ain't no goblin. Does that guy have shit on his desk? Is that shit? That's shit. Um, you must be Kahi. It'd be a lot quicker if we could just talk to him, but that's not the way they do things around here, apparently. Guess think. Oh, all right. Inspect the workshop. You may move or oh, it's one of these. Okay, cool. One of these. It's like mobile. It's like a mobile like sniper mini game. You know how like on mobile games, like I don't know if you've ever played sniping games. Uh, oh, there it is. Um, it kind of feels like similar controls. Uh. Oh, gotta look at that. Okay, no. Uh, should I zoom in? I can't. All right, yeah, it's cool. Oh, look at him himself. He's uh, he's very warm. Um, his tools aren't working. What else? It's the lamp. Um, so it's not that. Aha! That's his untouched meal, obviously. That actually looks kind of good. What are, what are your guys' thoughts on that? Like, I kind of feel like you add a fried egg to anything with, like, you know, the richness of the yolk. It just, like, takes it up, like, a couple points on, like, the out of 10 score, for me at least. That's just like what chefs do. It's like the most baller thing ever. You know, you just throw an egg on top of it. Give me one dish that's savory. That can't be improved upon with an egg on it. I'll wait. There's probably some dishes out there that it wouldn't really work, but yeah.
Okay, so he hasn't. He he's not eating. He's on an empty belly. Mouth pleasing. Wow, these goblins know how to have a good time. Aversion to piping hot dishes. She's she's definitely taking our move. That's like what we used to do all the time. Anyone would ask us anything. They're like, are you ready to be by yourself and run into this Garlemald camp all by yourself? And we, we don't say anything. We're just like, like that, you know? And she's doing it a whole bunch. We're not doing it anymore. That's how you know. We're, we're no longer the main character. You could try a drafty shard. I'm, I'm, I feel like a lot of these things that they say, I'm just too much of a pervert to not make it a, make a joke out of it. Okay. Let's go do it. <gasps> it's Thancred, our nemesis. I do like that they updated the textures and like some of the gear because do you remember like the gunbreaker coat like before um it just looked like you had like a like a bunch of like sausage links on the side of the coat it still kind of looks like that but it definitely looks a little bit sharper so you, it doesn't come off like you have a roll of sausage on the outside of your coat which i mean i i will not deny that there's functional use with having that but yeah Yeah, definitely not sausages anymore. Helpy hands. I'm like just kind of skimming this. I don't know if like you guys want me to read it or not. But I kind of stopped because I was just like, uh, fetch quest bullshit right now. Tancred's a little shorty. Ooh. Have a, a wind crystal to cool it off, obviously. magic. He just opened up the door without touching it. Alright. I was wondering what occasion called for me to receive so many visitors. Oh, so he just needed it for air conditioning, seems like.
Now that's one hell of a pot. Oh, it's an oil lamp. Yeah, I knew that. Do we ever get to see what the uh, what the goblins look like without their masks? I think it'd be really uh, interesting and terrifying. Lama T, I am told the Elector has deemed the crisis past and is prepared to task us with the feat. It's great news. Thank you for letting me know. All right. So this is the craft of the Potsworn. It's indeed a masterful piece. Charlie and Goldsmith could not easily replicate such exquisite artistry. Yeah, you Charlians can take your fancy learned pot making and you know just probably keep doing it because it's probably still better overall I have few fond memories of nomadic life interesting all right so He's, uh, he's got some, he's got a little bit of a chip on his shoulder. So were they, were these two actually adopted as babies or were they actually children? Cause it seems like Wook Lamat, when she talks about it, she doesn't really remember too much, um, of anything else other than her father, but maybe, I don't know. He seems like he has some memories. Dude, I had a nice cold mango. Those are pretty good. I actually like them um, like room temperature. That's what I've always preferred. I will say I like pineapple, like ice cold. Ew, fuck you. That's disgusting. That's a that's a pretty rational reaction. Alright. Can we get some voice acting? Just a little bit. Give me something. Room temp mango? I don't think it's that bad. What is up with, like, the lack of voice acting? Like, am I crazy or do... Is there less voice acting in this one than in previous ones? I don't remember there being so few voice acted cutscenes. Um, you look like you might like grapes and milk. No, I don't... I don't think I'm I'm a big fond, uh, fond uh, grape and milk um, person. Sorry. No, I'm not. I'm not into that. Is that a thing? Do people like grapes and milk? I mean, like, I guess, like in raisin bran, like they like dried grapes. Anyway, no. Um, I'm happy to report that we were able to convince one of the pots sworn to stay. How did you fare? Well, we just fixed the whole damn thing, you fucking tool. Uh oh. It's this guy. Welcome to Earthshire. First promise, we support your plans for salt crossings and new pots worn they will bring. Hail the mighty Zorul Ja. Alright. Oh, salt crossing. They mean like voyages across the sea. Um, Zoral Ja was cl uh, clearing fallen rocks. I'm surprised he would volunteer his time for anything unrelated to the contest. Interesting. 
Well, well, well. Oh, it's this guy. Hey, everyone's here at the same time. Let's just have a big fucking battle right here. Just in time for the feat to begin. Uh, I'll bet he was already here laying low while the rest of us did all the work. Claimants, your attention, please. As Redorock has explained, many of our Potsworn left us following the storm. The precious metal were crafted by those artisans bring in much jingly shine uh, from across the salt. Should our stream of trade uh, goods dry up, Earth and Shire will suffer. Tuliolo merchants will suffer. Um, so Redorock sets you uh, sets you this feat. Each of you are to find one clever hand goldsmith and bring... Well, I'm already 90 goldsmiths, so let's go ahead and just uh, make whatever it is they need. All right, so we got to go recruit some peeps. Calling this a feat does not justify taking advantage of the claimants and their influence. How does finding workers for you demonstrate their worthiness for the throne? Yeah, so Real Ja is actually asking the questions that we need. Are you free to refuse Redorok's request? She will be happy to inform the Dawn Servant of Zarol Jaw's disqualification. Wow! The right is a means to an end. The steps we take to get there are not important. Then Redorok declares the feat of pots begun, but remember a pot pact must be agreed to willingly. No grab snatching or deceitful tongue flaps. The Elector said nothing of taking a willing artisan from a rival. Which is exactly what we should do. I feel like this guy is going to go after the older brother and get his shit handed to him. Which he should. Okay. What do you think, Wuklamat? Have you any candidates in mind to satisfy this feat? I know some artisans amongst my supporters, but they're all in twilight in their twilight years. Huh. Can't we just teleport? I can't do it. I can't stomach another boat ride. Well, can't we teleport? The truth is... I get really, really sick on boats. It is hardly news. But it was brave of you to admit, in any case, we won't be fighting the current this time. Heading downriver will be much smoother. Oh. Oh my god. Okay. Well, anyway. The nausea is a bit more bearable now that I've stopped trying to hide it, but I. Okay. God damn, you suck. 
<laughs> it's fucking terrible, I'm sorry. Um, do fashion accessories like wings, do they show up in cutscenes? Um, or is that something we don't we don't have yet or will ever have actually? So what do you think? Do you know of any craftsmen who might be interested? Um, let's see. Oh yeah, let's do that Aorzean goldsmith. Yeah, that guy. Cool, let's do that. <laughs> the way Krile, or just Lalafels in general, walk, it's actually kind of funny. Trying to talk to you, Fontina Cheese. So we saved this guy's life. So he owes us his life now. We've barely met and after pushing you to work at Whatchamacallit, I'm now demanding you throw that away and sign a pot pact instead. It's a selfish request, I know. I have something to tell you, Third Promise. The other day I completed the necessary procedures for immigration. I'm pleased to say I am now an official subject of Tuliolol. Um, okay. So he's definitely in our camp because he doesn't want a warmonger like her older brother to be in power because he's lost um, loved ones because of Garlemald. By the way, we should just go over there and pick on them some more because they're bad. Oh, that's Taco Guy, right? That's what happens. I can do some heroic help. It does need to be right now. Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll well, go help out this guy. What do you want? Can now gain access to roll quests. Should we go do a roll quest? Wuklamat, the savior of our star. Cool.
All right. So we already got uh, what we needed to satisfy the uh, the request. This one was even faster than the last one. Yo, this hat is fucking crazy looking. I love it. I, the only thing I don't like about it is, um, oh, cool, we have uh, deliveries now, too. If we want to start left. Whoa, I would suggest full battle, Regalia. All right, let's finally, finally we get to fight some people. No, but really, what are we doing? Do you want to fuck on me? He really just wants to fight us. All right. <laughs> okay. Do we get a chance to like say like, "Hey, I don't want to fight you," or are you just gonna come at us? And they call me head of resolve for good reason. All the Siam, I have not lost a battle worthy of the name since the day I took the throne. And I've been craving a proper challenge. The lands Wilter, Stinian, he fought well enough, but our battle was ended before a victor could be decided. Judging by the sailor's gossip, you are a warrior of renown in your homeland. Yeah, we kind of saved the universe, you stupid you piece of wonder, shit. With all your deeds done and victories won. Are you warrior enough to stand against me? This guy's cute. All right. <laughs> a spirited answer. Why not, indeed? Look at that cockiness. Ah, oh, dude, but they have to play the main theme. I don't like the main theme. Um, I don't know. Okay. It's kind of mid, honestly. It's it's one of those things. I feel like the last two themes, like from expansions, have been like legitimate bangers. This one's just kind of like, yeah, doesn't do it for me, guys. Bitch, come get some. I'm not running from you. You're running from me. Shut up. Do, 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 do. So, since I'm a tank, I don't know if, like, the... Oh, I was just going to say. I don't know if he's actually going to be, uh... Oh, you're going to hit this side? All right. Look at these. Do you understand that your moves are pretty telegraphed? What the hell is this? Oh shit! 
I was like, all right, this is fine. Oh, so this is probably how we fi figure out Viper. Okay. I guess he is, he does have two swords. I'm not worried about it. Oh, so that's fucking bullshit. Cheating. You cheating ass hoe. All right, so you just have to watch the blade. I really like these new, uh, um, atonement. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Whoa, hey, that's not cool. How come you get an unblockable? Right. Best viewers? No thanks. That was like the third or third one today. Oh. God damn it. Come over here. Oh shit, that actually hit me? Oh fuck. Alright, well I'm actually gonna have to heal after that. Actually, we'll do an invuln and I'll heal real quick. There you go. Yeah, so I guess I got hit by those, and uh, the the damage over time was actually uh, kind of crazy. Alright, we're good. Yeah, that got a little dicey there for a second, but hey, invuln it. Oh, you were holding back. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, fuck this guy, right? Yeah, I'm not worried about anything. We're good. It's fine. Thank you for that, B-Webs. I'm getting a lot of those lately. I think they're trying to say that I suck. Alright, so what are you doing here? Alright, so you're doing your little... Little spinny winny. There it is. So... I already kind of forgot what... This even does. So you have like an after image. Right? Does it actually attack? I think it does? It seemed like it did. Oh shit, I'm gonna hit by that. Are you kidding me? I got hit by another one? Alright. So do this again. We'll do that. Pop that. There it is. <sighs> I don't even know if mitigation is really doing all that much for him. Seems like maybe. Cause I'm like, I'm kind of seeing the same damage coming out with the hits. What is this? Oh, you're gonna do a little fancy, fancy little Dragon Ball Z thing? Oh shit! Alright, well that hurts. Uh, 
Oh, back away. There we go. Yeah, I'll do that. So this will get us some health. Oh, that's cool. So we got three of them now. Okay, you got a lot of them now. That's cool. Yeah, I'm not worried about that. Yeah, this is totally fine. Yeah, all good. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. A lot of, lot of murder going on. Okay, so now you want to do this. Okay. I think we got it. Cinematic bullshit. Push it. Uh, am I supposed to win? Because it's like refilling. Okay, yeah. I was like, I kind of slowed down because I'm like, yeah. Oh, that was it. Okay. I also forgot after doing the last time we, we um, did a drunk stream, we were doing um, Shinryu. I think that's the fucker's name. Xenos. Um, and I didn't realize that you could touch, you could hit more than one button. So I'm sitting there, like, mashing just one fucking button. Um, I think you could also use the stick. The stick. Do you guys, did you guys ever play Dragon Ball Z Budokai? Like, way back in the day. We're talking, like, grade school, PlayStation 2. Um, for me, at least. Uh, and whenever you'd get into, the, like, these, like, fights, uh, you'd have to, like, roll or, like... I, 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 don't, I don't know anyone that actually used their thumb on the, on the stick, but to, like like roll like in those like those kind of those clashes or whatever um i might just be showing my age i'm 32. you are a force to be reckoned with <laughs> All right, so I guess that's it. I really need to pick up the black wings for this glamour set. I think that's like the only thing we're missing. If we wanted to do like a a dark Valkyrie. Now, a confession. I said I crave a challenge, and that was no lie. I had another reason for calling you here. Uh oh. Is he gonna say that he wants Wook Lamato in? I had to judge for myself. If you were fit to attend my beloved daughter. In some respects, she is much like me. Hot headed and prone to rush into danger. But one with your adamant defense. Could shield Lamati from those who would do her harm. Will you hear my question and answer me plainly? Address me not as the ruler of Tuliola, but a concerned father. Thank you. Then tell me. Given your journey together thus far, what is your impression of Lamati? Whether it be as their promise or just a companion. I think she fucking sucks. She's awful. She's literally Satan. <laughs> um. So they won't let us be honest. See, this is why you can't be real in this game. Um, 
She's not ready to rule. I'm going to go in there. We're going the negative route. I'm going to start trash talking her. She smells like a dirty litter box, too. Well, I did ask you to speak your mind. But I grieve. She's not ready for the throne. Not yet. Yeah, so he really wants her to win. I guess not fond of her brothers. She thinks she understands her many peoples. Or maybe just doesn't agree with what they want to do. Their cultures, their beliefs. But she knows only what she's seen in the capital. And it's not only her who concerns me. Even this early in the contest, you must have realized. As potential rulers, all four claimants are lacking. This is why I elected to hold the right of succession. Not to choose a fitting candidate, but to cultivate one. And if no one has impressed me by the end of it, then to no one will I yield my throne. Hmm. As a parent, I pray that my children rise to the occasion. All right. With outsiders dragged into my game, I am also hopeful that the different perspectives you and your companions have to offer will inspire them to grow. <laughs> I imagine you, in particular, have traveled many lands, know many peoples and cultures, loved them, and been loved in turn. All right. Cool. Good night, sugar tits. Good night, saintly. Have a good one. Guy Lamachi, as you think best. Walk at her side, and when needed, push her to walk ahead. All right, sure. I don't really have a fucking choice in this game. I knew it. There I was, about to sit down for some of Namika's cooking, when I heard that Papa had sent for you. You were dueling behind my back, weren't you? Yep. We pulled out Yu-Gi-Oh cards and everything. <laughs> I see there is no point in denying it. You needn't worry, daughter. I took care not to inflict lasting injuries. You and your ally may return to the contest without disadvantage. No harm done. I swear, just as I was learning... So, who do you think, like, would win in a fight? This guy, or, like, Xenos, for instance. Let's not say... Let's not say weird, um... Like, God Eyes Xenos, where he can just, like, hop into the void and, like, pick up a void scent so he could, you know, be a reaper. Um, let's say just... Let's say three Katana Xenos. Who do you guys got in a fight? Old Man Withers on the throne, or that Xenos? Let's take our leave of this battle mad oaf before he calls on the rest of my entourage. Old Man Withers, for sure. You don't even know Xenos. You don't even go here. Xenos was kind of like one of the main villains um, dude is a uh, living breathing walking train of fuck you that's what he is recruits are no less sharp as one I expect of Gallop's countrymen they saw the flaws in our claimants from the outset The other two, though, 
They dismiss comrades willing to point out their shortcomings. And no good can come of it. Low key, I think um the oldest brother, his actual biological son, gives me the vibes like he actually might be the strongest of the four right now. I still think I, I think the two headed dude. Not not the um not the guy we just fought, the other one. Um I think he's probably the weakest. It's usually like the biggest, you know, most like, like flamboyant, like the bullies. Like they, they're usually the ones that go down like a bitch. When like the real villain appears, that's usually how they do it. Usually. Yeah, so uh, we might actually get the, the Viper job. Um, from Old Man Withers. He might be the one. I don't know if we're ever going to get Geomancer in 14. I would really like that, but, um, I guess, yeah, fuck you if you want that. Uh-oh. Is this fucking weird, dude? Are they going to play the Undertale music? I'm not crazy. I feel like they sound alike. No. Please take up your axe and rend my flesh onto taco meat? That's a little excessive. Must your demands be so gruesome? Besides, I told you that that kind of thing doesn't bother me. Alright then. I won't let it bother me either. <laughs> this fucking guy. Uh, probably the best character yet. What the hell, man? What is this? You look like you're a house DJ. Okay, so he's just he's just being nice. I bet he's the real villain. He's going to take off his glasses and put his hair back like Aizen from Bleach did. Here we go. What's going down? Finding a willing artisan was even easier than expected. Many indeed are eager to curry favor with the resilient son, especially if it means sharing the promise of new territories. Does that guy have black teeth or is that just the shadow? Those who prove useful will have all the land they desire.
Oh, such generous words, yet the manner in which he speaks them. If neither wealth nor territory are of value, wherefore does he seek to bring the world to heal? Dude, you're so fucking gross looking. I'm thinking the two-headed guy. Yeah, right here. So he was making it seem like he was going to go after him. Step aside. Uh-oh. Are we finally going to get to see this guy get his ass handed to him? Remind me. There was no rule against poaching craftsmen from other claimants. I like how this guy's going to wait. Do not be foolish, Bakun Jaja. Um, this guy's gonna wait, like, literally, like, a hundred feet outside the area where we're supposed to drop this off. Not even trying to hide it. <laughs> Foolish would be carrying on with these tall feats when all I need to win are the keystones. And besides, it's long past time they humble this arrogant one head. Okay, so here, we're about to prove my theory on this guy actually being the weakest... And uh, <laughs> the the little the oldest brother, the one head as he calls him, uh, is actually a like low key, like baller. Let's see it. But there is nothing blessed about your birth. Only a two head is fit to rule. Only we are worthy. It's true what they say. Two heads are in fact better than one. Okay. Do it. A moment, first promise. Leave him alive if you would. I foresee a use for this nuisance. Too scared to make the first move. Then allow me. Oh, you know he's going to get fucking rocked. Yeah. What are you holstering those into? But he He's just a hunt. Damn. Kind of saw that coming. My thanks for your restraint. So just like with the health of his weapon. <laughs> your part in this is far from over. <laughs> yeah, that chick's like, ah, oh, yeah, I'm not gonna get on this guy's bad side. Oh, we're already past the the voice acting. All right, well, <sighs> I could uh, paraphrase. Um, hey, we brought this guy. And then this one's saying, hey, you brought that guy. And then this one's saying, hey, it's that guy. And then now he's saying, I'm that guy. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, we just got our third badge.
So how is the two-head guy going to pass this one? Your cleverness in particular is most admirable, second promise. We must have you apply that Charlian knowledge you so cherish in arm Toral with weapons of Magitech design. This guy's a huge warmonger. In your role as the new Dawn Servant's chief advisor, of course. The tools of war hold no interest for me. I, only w I wish only to improve our nation through practical innovations. Um, foreign powers will think twice about testing our strength once Tuliolal is known for its advanced technology, just as the Garlean Empire was de uh, deterred from invading. Yeah, Charlian. That may be uh, may well be true, but how long will it take Tuliolal to progress to this advanced state? How many years? Probably like two, at least. With a collective commitment to education and hard work, it should take this, uh, not so very... Uh-oh, what are you going to say? Your way is too slow. Okay. Easier to expand our territory and swallow Charlian whole. Conquer other nations through force of arms, and you're looking at a future of uprising and bloodshed. Yours wouldn't be the first failed empire. Then we keep fighting until the mounting costs uh, convince them to lay down their weapons. How how strong does this guy think he he is? Like, I don't like when games or shows or whatever they do this, where they'll like suddenly introduce a character who, in my opinion, very well could have contributed to like the previous events. You know, there's like the end of days, and this guy's just over here on his island. Like picking his ass and eating bananas, you know. Uh, meanwhile, we're like saving the literal universe. But he's just like, ah, oh, fuck it. I'm just gonna wait. How would such an outcome bring anyone joy? What you propose is a mockery of peace. Red Rock is reminded of days long ago. In the time before Tuliolal, uh, there were no pot packs for the pot sworn. It was normal to grab snatch artisans and force them to work for mob for mobbies. Yeah, I know what that is. Um, yeah, so this person also wants the days uh, to continue like they are. What the fuck? God, these guys are so fucking goofy looking. This is a little crown. So the head of reason was behind forging of pot pacts. Reason and clever think changed Mobby's way of life. I hate these guys. I hate the way they talk. Yeah, I'm beginning to think that, oh God, that fucking face, that the first promise isn't actually the true bad guy. I think his like his hype man over here um, is actually uh, kind of a scumbag. And I think he's, he seems like a sneaky little weasel. 
also he's ugly as fuck and he, people should hate him for it. <laughs> uh, but cool Jaja never did come back. Yeah, he's like passed out out there on the road. You have a moment, third promise. Oh. Oh, we got a we got a tale of the Golden City. Oh, great. Yeah, let's get some more time with Kryle. I can't wait to hear something from the eighth most popular scion. Let's fucking go. I'm sorry. I know it sounds like I'm just roasting this, but yeah, I am. <laughs> Oh god. All right. How many how long has it been? Uh we got 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll do another 20 minutes. We can do that. The giants again. All right, so the giants have a lot to do with this. I wonder what the giants look like in this game. All right, we're going to go find out some stuff. All right, so now we get to go to the second part of that other area. All right. Looks like the trail is going to be uh, going to get steep from here on in. Um, yeah. Third promise. I'm glad I caught you. Uh, Rhetoric asked me to bring you back to the village. She says there's something she forgot to give you. Something other than the keystone. Uh oh, this guy seems sketchy. Oh no. Don't go by yourself. No, we don't let her go. God damn it. She's gonna get like killed or something or Yeah. Gotta wait here more. Like they sent out like the sketchiest guy. Really? How how long are we are we just gonna sit here and actually fucking wait? Oh wow. They're roasting her. They honestly think that she just lost her way. This person didn't send for her. Neither has she seen the third promise since... Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, way to go, assholes. Where's Lama T? Is she not with you? So it seems like this brother still cares for her, so he's probably going to help us. That thou shouldst worry for thy sister is understandable, yet rather than assign blame, thine energies are better spent on locating her. Urian J just said in a nice way, shut the fuck up and let's go look.
Wow, he really likes her. Good for him. I like, I told you, I like this guy. I like how everyone just like walks very slowly. Of course we're gonna go with this guy. It wouldn't make sense for like his his posse to go with him. It's gotta be me. Cause how else are we gonna develop his character? Alright, so yeah, that's why we didn't have Okay, that makes sense. Alright. Um yeah. Might be able to pencil it in right now. Just knock it out. Um. Okay, so he's a bandit. If she actually gets caught by bandits, I mean, come on. All right, so gotta find the bandit. Okay, so we have a nice little disguise. Okay, you're gonna catch these bandits, I guess. Okay, start running. I have a really happy emote to show you. Uh, it's called Happy. I'm so excited. Look at me. God damn it, I didn't mean to... That's our guy.
All right. <sighs> and we be good. Come on. Alright, now we got to follow, oh, Here we go. Oh, we're not gonna sneak attack him. We're just gonna go out and do it this way. Oh, why are we letting this guy? All right. Kill them. Oh, right there. The second promise, what do you want with us? Eat pack of shit, salt lover. Oh wow, he didn't like that. Wow, he's legitimately gonna kill them. Okay. All right, so we got to go after that bandit, see if we can find him. All right. Yeah, I don't want to I don't typically want to go more than 5 hours. Wow. All that talking and fighting and he's only just over here. This is a really nice area. I like it. All right. Okay. So where is he? Alright, so that's like your field of vision.
Nope. <laughs> you can't see me. I love these strategically placed trees. Ha! Uh, you can't see me. Alright. And these st strategically placed uh, rock. Oh, rocks over here. Can't go any closer than that. So it looks like the circle only shows up when I'm getting a little too close. So it looks like it's right in here. Cool. We followed him all the way to his hideout. I can't believe Wook Lamont got beat by this guy. We had our own troubles finding a suitable hideaway. You brought a blackened tempest upon us. One look I could tell that woman was a killer, a butcher, a salted devil in the flesh. See what this guy wants to do. Oh my god, you want me to do this now? You can't see me. This guy's not even running. I don't think I could hide behind this. This 
This guy's not even turning around. What? Return to the starting point? Dude, fuck this game. Holy shit. He didn't turn around once and then all of a sudden, yeah. And you have to start all the way over? Yeah, this, this just feels like they're just really dragging this out. Alright, man. Can I just do this? Yeah, this might be easier. Yeah, so we know that he... He turns around a little bit closer to that bigger tree. Alright, well... Alright, so right here, we know you're going to turn around. So it's obvious that it's Bakul Jaja. Just over here. There we go. All right. Thank God. I hate these. Okay. Is she on there, I'm guessing? <clears throat> Better late than never. That Marmorja. He's the one who kidnapped Walt Lamart. Yeah, his voice sounds different, man. So we're still unsure. If we can follow him a bit longer, confirm his connection to the abductors. Oh, yeah. That will complicate matters. Confound 
it. If I set out now, I can trail them along the river bank. Do it! Even if it costs you the contest. What worth is the throne if I lose my sister to win it? Very well then. I'll send word when I locate her. Till then, I suggest you save your strength. A rescue attempt could turn ugly. That who be gorgeous now. I swear I've seen him with Bakul Jaja. They all look alike to me, but knowing the way that monster works, he probably hired bandits to kidnap her so he could steal her keystones. But even alone, my sister is more than a match for a gang of untrained ruffians. She must have been ambushed or deceived. I should have been there! If those bastards have hurt her! I do trust him, but... Forgive me. This guy's a little bit of a hothead. Stopping at you won't get my sister back. I'm afraid I've always been like this when it comes to Lamachi. The thought of her being in danger sends me into a panic. But isn't that how families should be? These days, Turali Mikote live however they please. But the clan into which I was born kept to the nomadic traditions of our ancestors. They herded their own neck across the plains, always moving with the seasons. During one such migration, my birth parents left me behind. A child. All alone. Without a single word of explanation. A chance encounter with a kind Pelu merchant was the only reason I survived. Taking pity on me, he taught me his trade that I might fend for myself. I became a stallkeeper in Tuliolal's market. And that is where the Don Servant found and adopted me. I had already been in the palace some time when Lamachi came to join us. Like me, she had been cast aside by her parents. I knew the pain of solitude and wanted to spare her that suffering. As this tiny child's new brother, I swore I would always be there for her. Yeah. <clears throat> so anyway, as you might now understand, I will stop at nothing to rescue her. While we await word from Thangret, I suggest we prepare ourselves to travel down river. You have a boat, yes? All right, let's do it. Why release the party if not to delay pursuit? If we were unsure of their guilt before, then this surely proves it. Before we act, however, let us regroup with your comrades. Would you mind making the call? Alright, well. Let's fucking do it. Understood. We'll meet you in many fires. <sighs> All right. So this is it. I'm guessing one of the main quests then is going to be what gives us our final 